The, the golf tournament was an idea that I had when I was in Palm Springs back in 2012 and I uh, woke up one morning and decided that I should get some guys together, play some golf, maybe raise a couple thousand bucks and we'll give it to a local charity. And I was at a local restaurant one day with a very good customer of mine and I was telling them about it while we were having lunch. And the lady got a sick look over her face and she said, you are so much better than that. And she reached in her purse and wrote a check for $500 and she said, get to work. Uh, two months later, we raised $30,000 for charity for local Landon's Library and a few other things. Well, unfortunately, that winter, that's when uh, the, the uh, McCloskeys lost Samantha and, and the Woods lost Andy. And um, over the winter, uh, Tom Bosley approached me and, and mentioned that maybe it would be good to reach out to them, and, and I did. And so we collaborated that uh, spring and started the first WGW. And uh, that year, between all of us, we put together around a I think an $80,000 year. When the three families came together, the Woods, the Bowles, and um, the McCloskeys, uh, we decided to kick it off with a fun 5K color run um, in memory of Samantha uh, for the arts. We used the color, because Samantha was not a runner, but she loved the, the art. So we decided to do a color run and, and just be, you know, have some fun with it. So that's why I'm covered in uh, color right now. We did a color bomb at the end of the race, and I was involved in that. Ten years ago, our beautiful little babe was called home to heaven um, from the occurrence of suds and um, just th through truly the gift of our amazing God, he um, kind of laid this out, this little ministry and uh, started with little play dates and kids would come to the library and we would pick a book a month and we would set the um, library up as a little play date area and the book would come alive through different stations um, and it grew and 10 years later Landon's library has given out over 200,000 books. This is the sixth year for the tournament. Uh, we've only participated, this will be our fifth year because our, our son uh, died in December 8th, 2012, the same night that Samantha died. So the very first year, it was only Landon's library. And um, then the other two charities came on board the second year. And so uh, this year we decided to try to really knock it out of the park and hopefully we have. We added a kickoff celebration this year at the Green Turtle. Uh, the other night we had 270 people on board and uh, raised another $20,000 between our silent auction and, and our live auction. So, um, you know, it's something for me, it's a total passion that anything that has to do with helping kids, I'm into. Uh, whether it's coaching basketball or whether it's this. Uh, my goal would be that we would continue to try to, our goal should be 100000 a year. And our goal should be to continue to do things where we can essentially do anything to help any kid that's in need, whether it's through the arts, whether it's through a college scholarship, whether it's through a mission trip, whether it's through putting food on their table like what the uh, Learning Beyond the Classroom bus does in addition to the other great things that it's doing. So, um, you know, pretty much if somebody throws a challenge at me, I'm going to try to do it. So, uh, uh, you know, r right now I'm worn out. We'll see what happens in a few months. <laughs> Uh, we're the only golf tournament in the Tri-State region. It gives a prize on every hole, all 54 holes. You can win something. Uh, we give away a lot of great prizes to the team victors as well. So, so you, you attract a wide range of golfers. But the biggest thing I see is smiles. Uh, we've had people come as far away as Houston, Texas, to play in this event. Uh, so it's 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 really uh, got a foothold, I think, in a lot of people's uh, lives that they want to come and be a part of it. When Debbie and I got involved after the first year, uh, the first year was only for Landon's Library, and uh, Billy says that they raised about thirty thousand dollars and thought this will be a tremendous event. Um, we're hopeful this year that our gross will be 
uh, five times that amount. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> you never know. Maybe 200,000 becomes our new number, but but uh, it's it's amazing. You know, it's an amazing community event. Uh, businesses just donate uh, everything and anything we ask for, and with the amount of golfers and, and people who participate, it just seems to get bigger every year. Samantha Funding the Arts basically is uh, is a. Uh a fund we started for our daughter Samantha. She was big into the arts, whether it was anything from coloring to band to anything to do with the arts theater. So that's where our money goes. One of the first places that uh, the school system seemed to pull money away from is the arts. So we try to help fund those um, and, and the teachers send in requests for things that they want to do that the, the Board of Ed can't fund, the, the funding's not there, and we try to supplement that. And knock on wood, we haven't had to tell anybody no in the five years since we've been doing it. Yeah, I think you know, the more the word spreads about it, I think uh, initially people didn't realize this was a community event. They thought it was just a golf tournament. And um, now they're realizing that we want the whole community here to be a part of this. We've helped um, Broadford Elementary, Yacolage Elementary buy band equipment to start um, a, a bigger music program in those schools. We funded the Northern High School marching band to go to Disney World. Uh, we've sent drama clubs to go to theater shows in Pittsburgh and Washington, D.C. Um, we bought a kiln for Route 40 Elementary. So we've done all kinds of things, anywhere from markers and crayons to band equipment. Um, but we also do a uh, uh, cornhole tournament in March. That's our Samantha Funding the Arts other fundraiser. Um, and we call it the Samantha's Beat the Winter Blues Bash. And that's also a community day. Lots to do for the whole family. I'd like to think it's just going to get bigger and better and uh, hopefully we can fund some bigger things than just stuff in the classroom at, the, you know, at some point. Maybe we can uh, put together a couple of art scholarships, things of that nature and try to, try to forward where we're going and try to forward where uh, Andy Wood Scholarship Fund's going and uh, Landon's Library. And the healing that's come through doing something in their memory and having the community come and embrace us is beyond any funds we could raise. So for anybody that's been through something like that and wants to do something in memory of their children or raise money for a good cause, um, you know, gather those closest to you and start with that. And then it'll build up from there. Beyond the money we raise and what we're able to do with it, it's the support of the community and this Garrett County community and beyond is just unbelievable. We're so grateful for Billy and Deb. We're so grateful for the people in Garrett County to come out to support this. That is because of their generosity that Landon's beautiful ministry from heaven just shines so brightly still and is able to uh, bless these kids of Garrett County. Six years ago, Billy truly had laid on his heart that he wanted to do something um, through a golf tournament and through the funds he wanted it to go to some children's organization. And so it's literally touching kids from birth, from the hospital, through college. So, and that's all through this gift of, you know, Billy kind of having this vision of wanting to help out kids in Garrett County. So that's how we all three kind of meshed. And even though you don't want to be in this situation, we are, we're like family. It's been a really special bond that we all have and um, we feel very grateful for it.